Yo. What up? All right. So since that first game kind of died on impact, let's switch it up. Switch it up to another game that I know for a fact works. Uh, let me just make sure. Oh, there we go. Dude, it actually picks up everything. I'm so glad. So going to go English. Sukban Games. Yes, yes, bird games. Glitch City 2187x80. A city that shouldn't exist. A tax haven where corporations and criminal empires reign supreme. In this place, all human life has been infected with nanomachines to keep them in check. Over them stand the White Knights to ensure that it's okay. That was fast. What up, Cube? What up, Sparks? Your brutality in all its forms is an everyday reality. The quality of life for the non-powerful decreases at an alarming rate. For many, this can be overwhelming. Some devote themselves to their jobs and their families, or even their studies. Some look for ways to escape this place, and others just give up. But for many of them, the answer lies at the bottom of a glass. On a small road just seconds away from the main street, somewhere near the slums, you can find the Hall A of the BTC certified barcoded VALL. But that's mouthful, so we just call it Valhalla. A small oasis in the middle of the concrete desert, a fountain of spirits waiting for tired souls. Cube, do you know this game? And it's here where the story unfolds. Welcome to Valhalla. Am I gonna have Ecocom at this point? Log on. Settings. Full screen. Scan lines. Playing having played a popular cyberpunk game, imagine. Get your ass in chat. Get in call then. You want a Cocom? If you played the game before, know you? Listen here, mate. To the end, I'll sit and chat. Alright, alright! So I know that it's only a visual novel. That's all I know. Um, this was recommended actually by uh, somebody that Cube knows, Carkits, Carly. She recommended this a while back and uh, said that I would like it. So let's... Uh... I guess we'll just go new game. Thanks for playing Valhalla. This game is best played getting comfortable. Grab some drinks, some snacks, and enjoy. So sit back and relax. We hope you enjoy a good time. Have a good time. All right, what have good taste? She recommended a game called, I don't know, Murder by Numbers alongside you? Psst. Hey, over here. Boo! That's a screen. How's that for an entrance? Come on, Joe, look sharp. The game's starting to- and a player needs a good first impression of its main character. I know you served a bunch of tuxedo-clad co corgis over the weekend, and the bar will eventually close. I'm blocking the text. You are right. Should I move myself to the right, then? Should I just go... Uh, boop. I'll just... just shrink myself over here. There. All right. Tuxedo clad corgis. Doge is a regular at this bar. And I'll admit my little prank on you might have gone a bit overboard. But remember, life is 90% how you take it. Stay focused. Look at the brighter side of things. I have no idea what the brighter side is, but you should totally find it. In any case, you should totally check that parcel you just got. See ya. Parcel. Oh, ah, uh, just a dream. Mm, there's something near the door. Chapter 1, Primera, or Primia, Primera, we'll go with Primera. Good evening. Your membership to Shining Fingered, Shining Fingered? What the fuck? Will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least $800 by then. Make sure you save your data using Life Backup app. 
You can now browse the augmented eye. So who is that letter from? Nobody. I'm gonna produce the sound effects. Eh, maybe the sound effects can be up a little bit. Uh, so we can go to work. Hold to unlock. Boss plus me. Pixie, you want me to be? Uh, if I'm about to miss achievements, let me know. <laughs> the augment to die. Mass emigration continues as Wonderlands are the newest threat. Cyborg and heals. Oh my gosh, okay. Mass emigration continues as Quincy reveals new economic adjustments. With inflation rates among the highest in the world, constant shortages of basic groceries, and rampant violent crimes, glitch city citizens look for a better life in other countries. Uh, Quincy, however, isn't happy with this. They learn in our schools and universities, the Prime Minister said during a talk with the Augmented Eye, but they apply what they learn somewhere else, and I find it rather insulting. This comes after revealing new economic measures for the city, which most analysts consider to be useless for the current environment. I don't know shit, concludes Quincy. Wonderlanders are the newest threat to your security, beware. If you thought Alice Rabbit was good at cracking the most complicated security protocols in the world, then this new group will certainly blow your mind. They've yet to make an impact as big as Alice Rabbit, but they seem to be aiming very high with the recent threats issued against Prime Minister Quincy. We hold full access to Quincy's email network and will release the whole data space this January, the group declared during a stream. Shallow threats. When questioned, Prime Minister Quincy dismissed all of the group's threats by st stating he's not hiding anything and is not afraid of a possible leak of his email history. Maybe everyone will get to see what kind of TV I brought, bought last month. Wild parties. The people behind the Wonderlanders seem to, to enjoy dressing in all kind of rabbit costumes uh, during the stream, from Anthro to Bunny Girl. The purpose was to show the love and respect they have for Alice Rabbit and their role in today's politics. We want to follow their example while having some fun. We're not sure if this will go anywhere, but we'll be there to tell you if it does. Cyborg and Heels return, uh, returns next year to Super Silver Thunderdome. The popular show in uh, Cyborg and Heels returns to the Dome this March, with tickets going on sale in January. Cyborg and Heels is a massive stage show about a cyborg fighting terrorism while wearing heels. Director Quentin Hader explains... Quentin Hader. Uh, cyborg and Heels special appeal during an exclusive interview with the Augmented Eye. What's not to love about it? It's a cyborg wearing heels, cutting stuff. That's literally something we've never seen before. A niche market I'm willing to capitalize on. Check out the full interview in the next few weeks, exclusively here at the Augmented Eye. Got music. Listen, I know this song. The only song in this game I know is Every Day Is Night because uh, Family Jewels played it. And it's really freaking good. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, dun, dun. Listen, if they're a pain. Though I think you need to keep your money on New Game Plus. Also, just realized this says slut. Oh. That's boss. So. So what? Should I just play through the game normally and then just do a first playthrough? And then after that, uh, go from there? Or if there's an achievement, do you want to let me know, like, what I need to do? I'll be busy tonight, so I can't stay for a while. No worries. I have zero dollars, by the way, under, uh, beneath me. Who's natural? I don't care. I don't think he cares about the rules of nature anyway. I think as long as you do flawless service to day 10, you won't miss it. Alright, so try to do flawless service. Save. Oh, there's five pages of this stuff. Okay, cool. So we can do a lot of saving. I'll do crazy saving. Alright, let's go to work. Tuesday, December 13th. Good evening. Ah, hey there, Jill. Oh, hey, John. When will you admit you have a John face skill? Alien. When you let people call you Jules. Oh, quiet. Are you okay? You look distracted. Where's the boss? Where's the A boss? That was boss. Dunno. She went out to buy some stuff. And, uh, did you hear what I just told you? You said something? Yes, that you look distracted. Very, very distracted. It's nothing. I'm just thinking about stuff. What stuff? 
Well, I have to pay rent by the 30th, which is always stressful and... Ah... Uh, there's also the fact that I spent a full hour yesterday apparently talking to myself. Not to mention the fact that two days ago I found out the bar is at risk of closing. So not only is my life being shaken up, I'm apparently going crazy. On top of that, neutering uh, four left me a completely empty wallet. I'm getting evicted if I miss rent again. And there's all the beer cans around my apartment and... Jill! Sorry, did you say something? Can you really work today? Of course I can't. Let's go through the basics then, shall we? Just in case. If you can make a piano, if you can make a piano man, I'll skip the rest, but bear with me for a second here, okay? Let's start with a sugar rush. Look for the recipe using the navigation bar in the recipe book that will show up on the top left. You can also sort drinks by flavors like sweet or types like manly. Drag the desired amount of ingredients from their cells on the right to the shaker in the center. Yeah, you know, all done. Press the mix button, and then press it again to stop mixing. Put the serve button or the drink itself to serve it, and that'll be all. Oh, but if the drink looks messed up, you'll need to press the reset button and try again. Press reset at any time, even when the shaker is moving. Don't be afraid to use it. Yeah, I'm the one that went through the formal BTC instruction. And this should be no problem. Ah, uh, you don't want either a sugar rush or a piano man. If I mess up the ingredients or the drink, I can press the reset button and try again. Man's two out of hell and through Bronson, but I would to All on the rocks that it makes. The street does not represent the things, but okay. And sugar rush. Do I just have to wait? Three, four... Mix for ten seconds. Okay. Blended it, mix for ten seconds. Mix is just mix for like two, then stop. Okay. And I know On the Rocks is iced, right? So mixed is so mixed is is brief, blended is a lot. Okay, got it. Here, happy? Yes, very. I stand corrected. Now let's get working. Oh yeah, before I forget, you can make any drink big by doubling the amount of ingredients. But if the recipe already has over ten ingredients, the drink is already big. Oh, and if a recipe says it uses optimal optional carmatrine, it means you can use none or fill it to the brim. So Carmatrine doesn't count towards making a big drink, of course. Carmatrine is the alcoholic factor in a drink. It doesn't change the taste, but the amount still has an effect. If you add too much of it, the client will get drunk faster, so please be mindful of that. Are you done with the exposition? No, I am, yeah. Hey, guys! Oh, bye. Uh, eh? Huh? Who's that? I don't know. Found her while I was out shopping. Why bring her here? Well, it was either leave her outside at the Mercy of Society's Finest or bring her unconscious Bonnie in here. She's going to make such a ruckus when she wakes up, you know that. That's up for you to deal with. I'll be in my office. You can't just push that responsibility onto us. We have work to do, damn it. There's two of you. Believe in yourselves. You think Chief knocked her out? Nah, that's unlikely. She'd be crowing about it or taunting us if that were the case. It's not like her to pick on such a small girl. At least not provoked. Yeah, you're right. I was about to sit back on music for that. We'll just need to keep it quiet. She seems to be just sleeping soundly, not comatose. Yeah. Okay then, time to start the night. Yes, I'll start working while you go clean the bathroom. Um, come again? 
Well, you spent the whole weekend and Monday doing God knows what. We've had some interesting clients come in. Dogs. Lots of them. You're joking. Gil, you've known me for how long now? Do I look like the kind of woman who would make a joke like that? Well... So, as punishment for leaving me to deal with all that on my lonesome, you'll be in charge of cleaning the bathrooms. Have fun! Just that? Fine. I see no problem. Where's the cleaning stuff? Here. You brought that from home, didn't you? That I did. Fine. With that out of the way, let's play some music on the new jukebox. This model needs to have all of its 12 slots filled with songs before it can start. I wonder what was the logic behind that decision. Perfect! <laughs> Perfect! The only song I know! Uh, the player of different songs. Just hit ready? I like it, okay? Oh. <laughs> Thanks. I love the fact that that just popped. I mix drinks and change lives. Hey, you. Give me a beer. Oh, sure. Right on it. This beer looks like quite the big guy, though. Alright, beer. Five, two, one, seven, delta. Four, all mixed. Here you go. No, no, this isn't going to cut it. Give me a big one. I'm sure. Big enough. Four, one, two. One, two. One, one, two. One, four, one, two. How about this one? Ah, oh, yes. Now that's one fit for a man like me. Wait, I don't know if that fucks perfect service up already. I mean, I can always reload, right? Lucky I was in a meeting close by. This hellhole could certainly use a presence like mine. Although, to be fair, work has taken me to worse hellholes, like New Jersey 3. Huh. What kind of work do you do, mister? You're talking to Donovan D. Doss, chief editor and owner of the Augments Die. Hey, perfect service, you have to make the first try a big beer. Okay. Nothing gets published there without my blessings. The day started with quite the interesting fellow, it seems. You know what? Fine. Let's just do this. Excuse me! Don't worry about it. You guys didn't see anything. There we go. Easy. Meanwhile, I still really like it. Here you go. Yeah, this one's good. Pretty good, in fact. Nice job. Um, thanks, I guess. You look, it was in a meeting close by this hollow video. Yeah, yeah. Although, to be fair, work is taking me to the worst hellholes, like New Jersey 3. Huh. What kind of work do you do, mister? You're talking to Donovan D. Dawson, chief editor and owner of the Augments of Die. Nothing gets published there without my blessings. They started with quite the interesting fellow, it seems. So they're the one to blame for the barrage of daily articles on Alice Rabbit then. Hey, people love those articles. They love reading about that urban legend. Can you blame them? The idea is some wild card hacker working for their own goals and nobody else's. That's the kind of corny shit that brings the clicks for all kinds of people. Clicks bring money, and money brings nice stuff. Stuff like cars and houses, plastic surgery for the missus and her kids. Well, I'm not complaining about the fact you write about the hacker, just that you write about them every single day. Some of it is even news, just speculations or copycats. I can't read your newspaper's daily feed without running into at least one article about Alice Rabbit. Well, first of all, I don't write about it, my interns do. The poor bastards think it'll help make them full-time employees. I'm just capitalizing on this topic while it's popular. Second, you're tired of one article about a supposed hacker. Not all the daily all the daily stories about murders and but not all the daily stories about murder and other horrors. 
Well, I want to filter out that section. I don't want to start my days scared and bitter. I have enough pressure and problems as is. I don't need to add Glitch City's lovely citizens to the list. You're smarter than you look, kid, but if more people were like you, I'd go bankrupt from the lack of traffic. Still, maybe my job would be easier. How so? People get dis descends. People get bored of certain kinds of news after seeing it repeatedly. When I started in this job, it only took the news of some elderly woman being killed to guarantee clicks. Now I need an elderly woman carrying a stick baby boy, sick baby boy getting hit by a truck. That's not enough. They need a full sob story behind it. That's why I like those urban legends. They're easier to write about and you can make up any shit you want. Spam them while they're hot, and even people like you, people who avoid the murder stories, will see them. That brings money. I like I said, money's good. Huh, oh, I guess he has a point. What about the opinion columns? Aren't those a good source of traffic too? Oh, I hate those brats. They just write about how they're better than everyone else. They might also write about how everyone that likes a certain something should be sodomized. The worst part about that is they know half of our clicks come from them, so they get all diva-like of my ass. I think you're being too harsh. What about... No, wait. I was thinking of another newspaper. Yeah, the columnists on your page are annoying. See? The kid on the restaurant critique column. Um, oh, shit. Forgot that brat's name. Restaurant? I believe that's... A kid. Couldn't care less about his name. Anyway, his column is the least visited of the bunch. He gets less hits than the obituaries. However, he still insists that I keep paying for his adventures to outrageous restaurants. I wouldn't have any problem with that if he actually wrote about half the places he visits. How so? He rarely writes about the places the newspaper sends him to. I've even heard he tries to get free meals by proclaiming that he's a food critic. Or bastard only gets laughed at when he says that. I do remember some guy coming here asking for free drinks and saying he was a critic or whatever. Did he look like a fat child with a really small face? No. Wasn't this one then? Anyway, all this talk made me thirsty. Try to get... Give me a beer this time. It's coming right up! Here you go. I'm just going to do cheaper in bulk at the store, though. Okay, so I do another big beer, I think. The big things that make life worthwhile. What about big troubles? Did I stutter, kid? Right. So tell me, do you see many celebrities in this hellhole? Please stop referring to this place as a hellhole. The place smells like soap and dog piss, and within my constitutional rights to call it a hellhole. I'm t <laughs> I'm doing my best here, thank you very much. Who is that? Nobody important. Hey, I heard that! Don't be offended by what I said, kid. I'm insulting the building, not you. You can think of it as a small hole in hell rather than a hellish hole if you like. Charming. So, celebrities. Not really. At least, not that I know of. Why? Well, to begin with, you have a serious VIP as a client, but I don't see you losing your shit. You're not making me feel special, honey. And second, because I'm always up for gossip regarding famous people. Especially the red carpet kind of famous. Those folks people pretend to love, but actually want to see fall from grace. Pretend to love? Fall from grace? Why do you think that gossip about famous people always sells? People pretend that they love celebs, but what they really want is to see their idols torn down to their level. They want to see them suffer to get their comeuppance for daring to be so much more successful than them. You know, he's not wrong. Sorry, I, I just got, like, I just zoned out and just got super engrossed into what was happening. I'm gonna be real with ya. Um, I got super engrossed there, holy crap. Also, the music is bopping, just saying. Uh, it's, it's, he's not wrong, like, a lot of journalists and such, as much as people hate it, where it's like, oh man, it's just the same stuff over and over and over again, uh, it, people, gosh, people will just click on the negative stuff and click on the stuff that's trending in order to, uh, in order just to get, find interest. And then, you know, editors and reporters profit off of that. It's kind of how YouTube works, honestly. Now, I think gossip is just something everyone enjoys, but no one wants to admit enjoying. Exactly. Exactly. Not wrong. But even if you were right, it wouldn't change the fact that people love that kind of stuff. They want to escape their lives by living somebody else's. Sadly, I failed to see the appeal in that whole thing. 
Though he is right. This guy is right. What do I care if this guy I saw in some random movie was wearing socks with sandals? After dating God knows who. Granted, socks with sandals is practically a public decency, but still. Oh, please. Bartender, I bet you have a strong voyeuristic streak. It kind of always loves to hear that stuff. Just like hairdressers. This sounds hypocritical coming from you. Even if that's the case, they don't sensationalize what people do. I don't make it more than that person you know from TV acts like a human. Sensationalize is the key word here. Just the other day, I saw this committee judge bitching over what some girl was wearing to the store. No matter what you say, these people don't exist solely to entertain the public. But this problem exists because they're the ones constantly cultivating the idea that they're perfect and untouchable. Going to exotic locales, dressing in elegant ways, indulging in every luxury they can think of. All that just leaves the public craving for those little moments when they make a mistake and fall to their level. Can't say that's a lie, but sometimes the crowd just wants to see they're human. Hey, that dude just that plays the nice guy is indeed a really nice guy. To be fair, the gossip articles don't help, sensationalizing everything. It feels like they're instigating a behavior that shouldn't even be acknowledged in the first place. I like your big words, eh, brat? Well, two can play that game of. Hmm. Hey, you're been turned to right. Now I'm a lab rat hellbent in world conquest. Sarcasm wastes my time, my money, and your energy. Refrain from using it. Anyway, I just realized that a bartender like you must have heard quite a few stories in her career. Talk about changing topics. Maybe. Why? Wouldn't you like to call them talk about those? I bet they would sell quite well. It would be like that priest who published confessional stories. Confes confessionary stories, even. And they then got excommunicated and lynched. People usually tell me all this stuff because they know I'm just a simple bartender. A person or a stranger of sorts. You could have your ghostwriting, half of our staff do that. They do? You don't really think Lana Smithy is just one person, do you? Fingers. Anyway, eventually the people from the stories would know it's them and blame me. Not only would that hurt as, us as a business, it would hurt me. I really like hearing clients rant about their lives. Oh, and it would hurt the clients too, I guess. Well, if you ever retire, that offer's still waiting for you. Yeah, like you'll remember me two weeks from now. Sure. Do you want another drink, Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Did I say something wrong? Not at all, I just really like the sound of that. Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Is it really that special? At work, everyone calls me Mr. Dawson or Boss. Boss is just a title, it's too impersonal and cold. It is? Mr. Dawson was my father, my grandfather. It's too general, but Mr. Donovan? Now that's more like it. They're, really, they're referring to me, to the man in front of them. Not to my family, not to my position as boss, to me. You want your employees to get personal with you, Mr. Donovan? Oh, gods, no, but I want them to fear me, not because I'm their boss or the name appearing in their paychecks, but rather because I strike mortal dread into them. I don't think this guy is a good boss. I wouldn't want to be terrified of my boss. Kind of would want me to make me leave, right? So tomorrow I'm going to make everyone call me that. Oh, yeah, you were asking something. What was it? Drink, another one, do you? Oh, uh, yes, yes. You know what? Third time's a charm. Give me a beer! Alright, the time's a charm for what? Better give him his beer. One beer! Here's hoping I don't pass out. Cheers! Enjoy! Say, kid, does this bar have any investors? He didn't call it a hellhole. There was some bloke named Sven that wanted to give us money if we stamped his face all over the place. But aside from that, no. These bars are pretty much like any fast food chain, so there are no local investors. Why? Just wanted to let you know how lucky you bastards are. Investors suck harder than my first wife's mouth. <laughs> what a phrase, dude! What a fucking phrase! Suck harder than my first wife's mouth. Oh, wow! The bastards think they're so important because they put their money in the company. <laughs> Holy crap! That was amazing. Well, that's—I mean, you give me money so you can make more. Let me do my thing. And I'll give you your money. But no, they have to stick their noses and start changing the silliest stuff. What good is it to be the boss if you still have to work for someone else? You still have to answer to unions, the government, and those kind of organizations, don't you? Yeah, but that's paperwork. I make someone else do it and call it a day. These losers ask for meetings. They start talking about stuff they don't like, stuff they found offensive. 
There's always that one guy or gal that says, hey, why don't you do what other that other newspaper does? Recently, they told me that they need more clicks. More clicks! I'll make sure to keep stuff spicy while still keeping productive production quality up, but it's never enough for them. Well, you know what? They want more clicks, I'll give them more clicks. I'll show them what happens when I do what they want, and don't reject ideas. They'll know who the hell Donovan D. Dawson is. Should I be worried? Nah, at least he paid before storming off. I wonder what happened with Sven, though. We never heard from him again. Jill! Yes? What the hell happened in that bathroom? What kind of mess usually requires you to have thumbs. Crafty dogs, they tell you. You'd think their short legs would hinder them. What the hell did Doge do in the bathroom? The, the, the ceiling. The sinks. The toilets. The vents. Shh. You wake up Briar Rose over there. I won't forget this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a client. Welcome to Valhalla, what can I... Big gut punch. Fast. Alright. What's a gut punch? I want a gut punch. Okay, sorry. Uh, big... Sorry. Gut punch. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One. One, two, three, four, five. One. Uh, aged. Uh, um... I'm not gonna make him drunk. Here. Hmm. You can actually do it then. This crack house is a bar. Hellhole, crack house. It smells like dog urine and soap. How the hell do you expect someone to feel comfortable in here? I'm surprised you decided to come to our little crack house at all, mister. What the hell do you care? The payment registry says. Sorry for the question then, Mr. Ingram uh, McDougal. Sorry about the smell. We're working on fixing it. There was an incident over the weekend. It's Tuesday. Please, let me know what I can do to make your experience more pleasant, regardless. I pay you, will you come with me to a motel for a couple of hours? The fuck? The fuck? Um... What? He wants to ha order her as a prostitute? No. Then I have no use for you, Bond. Give me drinks. Such pleasant clientele tonight. I ask why you decided to come to our bar then. Somebody recommended me this place, and I have absolutely no idea why she likes it. Says she's a regular here and all. I'm starting to doubt her tastes. A regular? Can I ask who? No. Concede one thing. Whoever picks the music at least has decent taste. Let's fucking go, dude! Let's fucking go! This song is fucking a bop, though. It's fucking banger! Hey, Jill. Where did you put the dish soap? You always run out. Below well, the sink where it's always been. Alright. Oh, a customer. Good evening, sir. Hope you enjoy your stay at Valhalla. So, any other feedback you want to provide the establishment so we can enhance your customer experience? No, nothing. That's an interesting change of heart. I can't afford to slander this place knowing she's here. You know my boss? I don't know her, but I know who she is. Dana Zane, the Red Comet. The woman who fended off mall rioters all by herself, knocking them out cold one by one. That's an achievement and a title I've never heard before. I know Boss did quite a few things before opening this bar, but that sounds... Would you happen to know how she got her mechanical arm? I heard a couple of stories, but they sound too fantastic to be true. You've had an interesting change of attitude. I saw that woman take out armed rioters with her bare hands. When you see something like that, it's hard not to keep your mouth shut in front of them. Interesting. You can relax, though. I've only seen her deal with the clients personally about two or three times. One involved Class 5 weaponry, the other one is a pickup artist, and the latest had an alpaca. <laughs> That's a very weird uh, divergence there. Class 5 weaponry, pickup artist, alpaca. The alpaca must have been the most ferocious. Alpaca? Not really an alpaca, but there's this woman that owns a textile company. She got really drunk and she started screaming she was an alpaca. She started spitting on everything afterwards. My boss had to show her the exit. I'd rather not remember that night, so let's leave it at that. Can I get you anything else? Give me a pile driver, please. Shoot, do I need to make this one big? Oh, I might want to make this one big. Maybe, oh, does he want it big though? Does he want it big? Okay, hold on. Pile driver, please. There's a word I haven't heard today. Coming right up. Pile driver. Hold on, pile driver. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Uh 
Uh, uh, uh. Here. It's fun, I guess. Hey, lady, have you ever faked an orgasm? I fucked up, didn't I? It was supposed to be big, didn't wasn't it? That was supposed to be a big drink. Can I save? I I get the feeling that I was supposed to oh whatever. Hey lady, have you ever faked an orgasm? I'm sorry, I think I heard wrong. I asked if you ever faked an orgasm. That's a question I'm not gonna answer. I'll take that as a yes. I was just thinking about how good a lie can be. I mean, even the most sincere people lie once in a while. Lies can buy you time, lies can make you happy. Reality will come crashing through the door eventually, but for the moment, a lie can give meaning to you. I say lies are like your porn stash. You know they exist, but you shouldn't acknowledge them. Does that mean you've really faked orgasms? Because you look like you have a lot of experience. Still, that's quite the random thought to just suddenly have. Are you perhaps lying about something right now? Not really. I was just thinking about people making play comments about this crack house. Ah, of course you were. Hey, I'm gonna need another drink here. Already? Don't you think you're drinking a bit quickly? That's my problem, not yours. Give me a fringe weaver. Alright. Uh, all aged and mixed. I'm gonna give him a big one. Age mix. There we go. Try not to drink it too fast. That's up to me. Hey, lady, have you ever felt empty? Empty how? Like hungry? No, I mean, empty like there's a part of you missing. Can't say I particularly have. I just feel there's this part of myself that lacks something. An urge to get or do something that I can't just can't satisfy. Have you tried taking up a hobby? It might not solve your problems, but it might keep you busy enough to avoid thinking about it. Any suggestions? Well, collecting stuff, reading, bungee jumping, combat sports, exercising. Sounds a lot cheaper than the alternative. Which is... Bitches and alcohol. Yeah, a lot of people... want bitches and alcohol. I tried sex tourism once. It was like a bloody Russian roulette of STDs, so I left midway through. Yeah, make sure you actually, like... If you're gonna have a one-night stand, make sure the person's clean, at least. I once burned my Christmas bonus hiring three women for an orgy. Porn is more amusing and way cheaper. I've also hired a girl to act, to act like my daughter for a day for three years in a row now. Nothing seems to do it. Um, have you tried rescuing a puppy? You can't fuck puppies. At least you shouldn't. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a quote. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, my brain. My first thought as a response is, couldn't you have a girl dress up as a dog? Will that make you feel better, Ingram? Based on his tastes, because he had a girl dress act like his daughter for three three years, I could say this guy's into some weird shit. I'm drawing a blank then. Can't think of anything that might help. Wasn't expecting it to help me or to believe me. Eh? I could have been lying through my teeth this whole time. You lie, lady. Anyway, I'm leaving now. It smells killing me. Please, come again. Don't count on it. Good. Phew. Boss, I'm gonna take my break. Alright. What the hell? Uh -huh. It's now safe to keep playing. Is it? Did I screw up something, by the way? I don't know if I screwed up, like, the perfect service or anything. At least I didn't get locked up this time. Alright, we'll, we'll switch this up. So we'll do... All this. Okay then, back in action. Good evening. Good eve. Um, would you mind taking your helmet off? Oh, sorry, it's so comfortable, I usually forget I have it on. Oh, hello, I like how you look. Is this better? Yeah, thank you. What can I get you, miss? Master Specialist, Psy-P. 
Asagiri of the 765th Division Valkyrie Corps at your service. Wait, that's too long. Just call me Sai. What can I get for you, Sai? Let's see, I'm in the mood for a sweet drink. Oh, but not sweet as in cool. Although a cool drink would be nice too, um, but not cool as in great, and especially not as in big. More so since I have to get up early tomorrow, and I can't afford a hangover. I'm um, sorry, did you get that? A sweet drink, preferably a cold one that's not too big, right? Yeah, that's it. I can do that, give me a sec. Sweets. I want to do sweet drink. Um, Moonblast. Moonblast is too big. So it's got to be a piano woman. No. Rocks and blended. This one, Moonblast. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, blended, blended. Here you are! Ah, yes! Just what I needed! Thanks! We don't get many White Knights as clients. I can only remember one other, in fact. You said you're from the Valkyrie Corps, right? Are you the guys who deal with riots and such? Riots? Oh, no, 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 no. You're thinking the Blitzkrieg Corp. Ah, uh, the ones with the huge plated suits, right? Yeah, those. No, we're different people. I mean, obviously we're different people, but we don't deal with riots or anything. In fact, you could say we deal with their aftermath. How so? To rescue, heal, and protect, we are the angels who soothe those suffering enemy attacks. We are the light of hope in the darkest of times, the one who assists the victims of crime. We watch, we protect. Um, what was that? Sorry, it's sort of our pledge of allegiance. We recite it every morning. What it means is that our duties mostly include rescuing civilians, healing the injured, and protecting them from stuff. What kind of stuff? Burglars, rapists, car crashes, anything that might happen on our watch. You mentioned heal. Are you a doctor then? Nah, I know many doctors, but I'm not one. I'm more of a paramedic. I treat people so they can arrive safely at a doctor. Also kind of like a firefighter in that. I sometimes rescue people from places. Damn, that must be a tough job. Sort of, but it's also really rewarding. I mean, I've yet to meet somebody that isn't glad to see me when I arrive. You must have seen some shocking sights. Yeah, this one time when I was saving some people from the top of a collapsing building, I looked down and was blown away by how pr pretty the city was. It was like a starry sky on Earth. Oh, and there was this time we were cleaning up the aftermath of a car crash. Water was pouring out of a hydrant. With the lights and scattering pieces of glass, it was almost all almost dreamlike. That's not what I meant by shocking sights. No, but those are sights and they're shocking, right? Yeah, but uh, never mind. Wait, did I mishear you and actually meant size? I mean, sure. I've suffered the deepest, longest, and most frustrating sighs from people after everything's said and done, but. Don't worry, you didn't mishear. I guess I was just expecting a different kind of answer. What kind of answer? Don't worry too much about it. She means stuff that's, like, gruesome. Like, people with their arms chopped off and... I, I don't want to say the thing that came to mind. Because... There was a video I saw... Because I was on that, like, horror binge and, like, gut-wrenching binge. And it looked like a simple video. And then you get to the second video, and the second video... The second video was not safe for life, not safe for your next life, and not safe for the life after that. You finished your drink. Can I get you anything else? Hmm, something classy. A classy drink. Can you be more specific? Don't make it too big. Does that work? Sorry, I don't come to bars very often. My drinks usually come in a can. Problem. Don't worry. A classy drink, right? Let's see what I can find you. Classy drink. Okay. Uh, classy. It's bad touch. Small. The rocks are mixed. 
damage to Max. The Max and Blended is a 69. Alright. Or... Sour. I think she wants something that's probably sweet too. Kind of getting an idea. Bubbly. I don't want burning. I think we want sweets. I think the brand teeny might be the bad, the one to go for. Yeah, let's go for the brand teeny. Here you are. Yep, this looks like something Stella would drink. Who? She's my dearest friend. Not that I don't have others, but she's the one I've known the longest. She likes these kinds of drinks, so I wanted to see what's so special about them. And what do you think? I was expecting something stronger. I like it quite a bit. Say, Miss Bartender, what's your name? Hmm? You know, my name. So now I want to know yours. Oh, sure. Just call me Jill. Jill. Hmm, Jill. Jill is short for Jillian. No, that's not, not right. Jillian. J J Julianne! Do not call me Julianne, please. Uh, sorry about that. No, please excuse me. I didn't want to anger you. Um, but why don't you like being called by your full name? It's a stupid reason. Don't dwell on that too much on that. Okay, I still feel bad about angering you, though. Why? Because you look like a nice girl, Jill, and I don't like angering nice people. This girl is so sweet. I like her. Sai is really sweet. I like her. If it helps somehow, I really like this place. That actually helps. You're the first person to say something nice today. Thanks. What do you like about it? The smell of dog urine and soap. <laughs> oh, she's crazy. I love it. My mom used to be a veterinarian. I used to go to her clinic after school, so the smell takes me back. It makes me feel comfy and nostalgic. Ahem, <clears throat> what made you become a white knight instead of a veterinarian or anything else? Well, I was never a good student, so studying medicine of any kind was out of the question. That aside, it's mostly because of something that happened while I was a kid. A white knight attacked my friend and was coming for me when this other white knight saved us. I don't remember what happened next. I just woke up in a hospital with my friend watching over me. I mean, it wasn't a prophetic moment or anything like that, but ever since then, I felt like this was my calling. I wanted to help people the same way they helped me. Oh, it's interesting, though. One would think being attacked by a white knight would make you run the opposite direction. Yeah, but it was another one that saved me. So I kind of guide myself towards judging everything on an individual basis. Well, not to, to an extremist extent, but you get me? Yeah, I try to do the same, too. I joined the Valkyra Corp specifically, though. Because I wanted to rescue people from dire situations whenever possible. And going into patrols and all that felt too tiresome. It's also the one with the least paperwork involved. Now that I think about it, there are different kinds of white knights, right? I guess white knights too broad term. There's not one specific type. There are many different classes. Rescue, assault. There's even a squad full of bu bureaucrats. Really? Yeah, they get assigned to com companies to handle the accounting and that kind of stuff. People usually ask for them because they speed up processes. But a few are assigned when a company is suspected of having weird under-the-table deals. Interesting. There's also a squad dedicated to fighting school bullying. They were doing a nice job, but the fad of anti-bullying campaigns passed and they lost their funding. I believe some members still work with anti-bullying cases in an official capacity. Well, that's cool. I wish that existed when I was in school. That'd be nice, I think. Can I get you anything else? I don't know if I should. I can't afford that many drinks. And besides, I don't really know how much alcohol I can handle. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, well, you know what? I'll have something else. I remember some drink called a Martini? Brantini. No, I'm pretty sure it's Martini. It's Brantini, trust me. I'll get you one. This is literally the same thing I, I got her. Here, see? Huh, you were right. Thanks. You know what? I think I'll bring a friend of mine here in a couple of days. Really? Why? I like the feel of this place, and I want to share it with her. It might be a bit difficult, though. She's more into, um, classier places. But not that this place isn't nice, but, but... Don't worry, I know that kind of place I work in. I see. But it shouldn't be too bad, I just need to... What was that? It sounded like an explosion. I better check that. I paid you already, right? Yeah, go ahead. Be careful. I will. She left her helmet. Well, if she's coming back, I'll just hold it for her. I'll go check what that ever-loving hell that explosion was. Careful. What? Oh, she woke up? Where am I? Where am I? Good evening, welcome to Valhalla. 
That might not have been the best thing to say. Yeah, Valhalla is also heaven for, like, Vikings. Valhalla, am I dead? Yeah, that's what I think. You're not dead. Does that mean that Uncle Ingus' ramblings about the afterlife looking like a shoddy downtown bar are true? Called it. Afterlife? I'm not dead? As far as I can tell, no. To be fair, I don't know how death or the afterlife work exactly, but you're breathing, right? Alright then, where the hell am I? How did I get here? Who brought me here? What were you planning to do with me? Are you organ traffickers, robbers, rapists, pickpockets? You pickpockets, aren't you? Why aren't you saying anything? I'm waiting for you to vent your worries. Otherwise, you'll just... You're rapists, aren't you? Rapists, the whole lot of you! You want to tear my clothes off, beat me unconscious, have your horrible way with me, and then brutally murder me, don't you? Almost, so violating every hole in my body as I lay there twitching, don't you? Man, she, uh... She's the feisty one, isn't she? Murder, 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 murder. Interrupt me. Well, this is going nowhere. Let's see if I can get a drink to calm her down. Or to throw out her face. Think carefully, Jill. Give her something that will calm her down. Maybe a sweet girly drink? Happy. Sweet girly happy. Maybe maybe this would be fine. No. No 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 no, that might not be a good idea. Sparkle Star. Wait, what the hell? Two rush, two on the of Delta. All aged in mix. I, I think this would be fine. What is that? A drink. You're in a bar. Bar serves drinks. A bar? So I figured I should give you something to help you calm down. Don't worry, it's on the house. To calm down? What did you spice it with? Rufies? TTX? Pumpkins? God, no, I wouldn't even think of it. Your stuttering makes you suspicious, you know. If I ever added anything like that to your drink, then dock my pay and tips. Not to mention, I'd have to pay any lawsuits myself. And that's the best case scenario. I could get fired and lose benefits or go to jail. And trust me, the BTC loves to catch anyone who commits that particular felony. They'd show themselves all proud for a hefty PR boost. And the thought of going through all that is just... Brrr. Even if you say that, let's do something. If you go outside and head just three businesses to the left, you'll find a convenience store. They sell drug tests for drinks. Tell the cashier that Dana Zane sent you. Oof. Two flying cars crashed and went boom. That's why it was so noisy. Any damage? A hole in the street. Don't know about the drivers or anything. See. Either way, I think I'm done here. Did you check inside the toilet papers lockers? What about- Oh my god! How? Why? How? I'm back. He tried to give me bandages at first, though. Did you have to pay? No. No problem, then. Try it on the drink. It says negative. There. There you go. But you could be in the cahoots with the clerk in the store. He even knew your name. Good point. But first of all, it's not my name. It's my boss's. Second, we are pretty much part of a chain. Sort of like spicy chicken of bars. And finally, I'm not making you drink this. I offered it to you as a sign of peace. I mean, you are right. It is indeed suspicious on my part. Right. You can just ignore the drink. Go through that door and forget this ever happened. That would be it. You're at the piece and nothing value would be lost. Are you implying something won't have finally because I ignored it? Are you saying my presence is so unimportant that my lack of action will yield no difference? This girl is a loose fucking cannon. Eh? But what about the drink? Are you gonna let this fruit of your work go to waste so easily? This girl is fucking losing it, dude! Like, absolutely losing it. What the hell? No, I... Well, I'll let you know I'm not that unimportant and that your work does matter. Um, not sure you should drink it all so fast. So, how was it? It was good, I guess. It'll help me calm down a bit, I think. Are you alright? Yeah, I guess you were telling the truth. Sorry about that. No problem. If I were you, I'd probably reacted the same way. I should apologize for my last comment, too. It came out as insensitive. I guess I'll stay for a while. I need to get my thoughts in order. Can you tell me how I got here? Um, my boss found you unconscious and brought you here for safekeeping. And you were asleep until that car crash outside. I see. 
I guess it's better to wake up here than on the streets, stripped of your clothing, dignity, and, and or organs. Hmm. How did you fall unconscious? Were you tired? Sick? I guess I'm sick, but I'd rather not talk about it. Of course. I'll tell you what. Your drinks are on the house tonight. Why would you do that? Consider it an apology on behalf of everyone here for all the trouble we've caused you. Also, something tells me you might need another drink right now. Yeah, you might be right. Okay, then. I'll take you on your offer. I'll have a piano man. Will you, will you be fine? Yeah, I just gulped the last one, so I want to enjoy this one. Run right up, then. Man, don't see a woman asking for a piano man. True. Piano man! Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Oh. How the fuck did I fuck this up? I didn't get enough. Card to mine. Two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. On me. Boom. Here. Yeah, it's the one. My dad used to drink these before an actual pianist attempted to kill him. What did he do? Your dad, I mean, he broke the pianist like that. Wrong place at the wrong time, I guess. He was relaxing in a bar when suddenly the pianist slept off the stage and started punching him. Some say he was off his meds and that my dad looked like some music critic that he bashed him. I still hold my stance that he just got too excited. Jazz does that to you. I see. The Piano Man has an interesting story. It was originally created by a bartender in honor of a pianist friend of his that just died. Apparently it mixes all the flavors said friend liked the most. Oh, that's nice. So this is how it feels to go for a drink at the end of the long hard day at work. I'm not sure if I like the fact that I'm falling into that. Where do you work, miss? Call me Kim. I don't know if I can say I work yet, though. I'm still just an intern. Can I ask where? Have you heard of the newspaper called The Augmented Eye? Hey, we know about Donovan! I read it every morning. In fact, Donovan, Donovan D. Dawson was here earlier. I knew I smelled his nasty cologne. That bastard leaves his reek wherever he goes. So you believe me? I do. God, you have no idea how much I hate that chauvinistic horse blower. <laughs> horse blower. <laughs> What a fucking sentence, dude! What a horse blower. Oh my gosh. What a fucking... What a fucking sentence. Horse blower. Damn. That is crazy. Harsh words. The worst part is that I kind of admire the way he does stuff. He's so forceful about the things he wants that people have done it, have it done before they realize what's going on. He even got a pizza delivery boy to work server maintenance. A full week passed before the pizza shop asked where the hell he was. Damn, that's proficiency. Would you believe it? The guy became decent at server maintenance despite having no previous experience. It's kind of admirable, but at the same time I hate his guts. Ugh! Knowing that I have to work for him, it's ugh! Why are you working there then? To ask something I shouldn't have. No, 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 don't fret about it. I'd rather not talk about it, though. Fair enough. Well, what's your name, bartender? Call me Jill. Is it hard to be a bartender, Jill? I guess it's as hard as being a cook somewhere. You keep going through the motions while trying to provide something of quality, all while answering the whimsy of people's orders. I think the hardest part is dealing with the chemical hazards that people might leave behind. Why? At one point, I thought about being a bartender, but I was afraid they'd make me wear skimpy clothes and dance or something. Here we go. Go again. Oh, the stripper bartenders. I've seen them. I've seen them. Some people like them. I get very uncomfortable. Because it's like, why are you doing this in, like, very little clothing? So... Well, it depends on where you start working, you know? I guess I was lucky Valhalla didn't end up being a tacky disco overseen by a DJ with an afro. My boss just wanted a comfy place, I think. Your boss sounds like an interesting person. What with wanting to put me somewhere safe and all that? She is. She's so cool and collected, but has no qualms about showing excitement about stuff. Sure, she's been a bit tense the last couple of days. But even then, when you're with her and everything just feels under control. She also has this mechanical arm. I have no idea how she got it, but... Heh. <laughs> Sorry, I got carried away. It was fun to see you break the wise bartender character you're using here. I do that? It'd be nice to meet this boss of yours sometime and thank her. Shall I call her? She'd be glad to know you're okay. Oh no, I shouldn't pester her that way. 
And besides, it's getting late, and I don't want to be abused or generosity. You can ask for another one, although I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. I think I can handle another drink. One Brandatini, please. Coming right up. She wants a Brandon. Sorry, Mard. Ah, Brandatini! Yeah, that thing. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Boink. Age mix. Boom. Brandatini. Let's go. I can do it fast. Here. Yep, this seems like the stuff. Cheers. Hey, Jill, was this job like a lifelong dream of something? Not really, it just kind of happened. One thing led to another, and bam, bartending. Do you regret not fulfilling a dream? The only dream I can remember being passionate about was buying a model Wario Julianne arcade machine. Can't say I've given up on that one yet, but alas, adult stuff needs to be paid for first. You've never had a dream you wanted to chase? Not really. I mean, most of my dreams have been silly things or childish dreams. Eh, there could be silly dreams, there could be childish dreams, or there could be some pretty damn good dreams, right? So... Ooh, okay. Um, yeah. But everyone chases a dream. I mean, I'm chasing my dream with Twitch right now, so. Yeah. Childish dreams? Having a room where every piece of furniture talks, being a model warrior. Oh, childish dreams, yeah. I remember I wanted to live in a koi pond when I was seven. The fish seemed to be having a blast to me. So, no dreams? None that I felt particularly motivated to chase, no. I mean, I'm fascinated by AIs, but I just couldn't find it in me to study that. So I picked something I found nice and moved on. And somewhere along the way, I became a bartender. I see. Finally! The dog's left a mess. I'm not going to forget anytime soon. I mean, how the hell did they throw toilet paper out the window? Oh, client. Good night, ma'am. Jill, I'm going to leave early. I need to take care of the smell clinging to my body. Sure. Um, who is he? A ghost. Nobody you should worry about. Oh. I heard that! <laughs> we are making fun of Gillian. Why are we asking all those questions? Because now that I think about it, I don't really have a dream job or anything like that. I think we idealize the idea of a dream job too much. Not everyone walks around with a clear idea of what they want to be in life. Some take a liking to a job, others find it after many failed attempts. Sometimes life takes an unexpected turn that makes you change your plans. But what I mean is, don't worry too much about it. Maybe you're right. Well, I'm going to take my leave now. Thank you for everything. Please thank your boss on my behalf. Bye. Thank you and come again. And that's it. Are we done for the night? Seems like it. Where's Gil? And oh, where's the girl that was here? Uh, Gil cleaned the bathroom and left because he stank. Kim woke up, had a couple of drinks, and left. So she's called Kim. How did she look to you? How was she? She was freaked out when she woke up, but she managed to calm down. Are you worried about her? Wouldn't you be? I don't know. Hey, boss, do you feel like calling your bo you boss too impersonal? Hmm? Not really, no. It's not like you call me that because I'm a stranger, just out of habit. Oh. Anyway, you're free to go after you finish washing up the glasses. Let me transfer you today's payment. Maybe I'll give Gil a small bonus for dealing with the bathroom. Hey, flawless service! Let's go, dude! No mistakes. Tades, we got $2,000. Let's go, dude. Membership to Shiny Fingers on May 17th. Make sure you come to the Lucid and Grandjoes. Austin thought about a polar plant buying a local venture for me too distracted. A bronze danger. Okay, so real quick. So, okay. So now that we did that, I'm going to save this over here. Um, let me see. So I want to pull up because, like, it's like, he wants to help me with achievements and such, but I also want to deal with achievements too. I want to check. Something. Hydrate, thanks for the hydrate, appreciate it. Okay, so put this up and Okay. Oh okay. Let me, let me load this. So let's, we need to go fast. Oh, let me. Okay, we, so according, so I'm going to pull up a guide just to, just in case like we missed anything during that time, just so we cover everything. But I'm only going to like, I'll play the, let me, let me put this, put it this way. 
We'll play everything blind first, but if like chat knows of something I'm about to miss, they can definitely tell me and that's perfectly fine. I don't mind. But if if at the end of a of a time when we get paid, I'm going to look up just to see if there's anything I missed. And according to this, there is one thing I missed. So this one, like, okay, we got this all right. So we want to get the moon blast. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, 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 two, on the rocks and blended. There we go. We need to get to the point when Kim wakes up. Alright, and then we want to make a... I guess it says a Cobalt Velvet. I don't think I made this last time, but like, we can do this. Here you are. There's something Stella would drink. So yeah, we, we made a few drinks, but like, this one's fine. We did everything fight with Sai. The important part seems to be Kim. And it wants me to make something very specific. I don't know why, but it says make sure you make this for Kim. Okay. So she's freaking out. All right, so I need to make something. So it says do one of Aldehyde, one Bronson, two Deltas, three Flanagans, and one, two, three, four, five. A Flaming Moai is apparently what I need to do. What is that? Drink. So let's see. So drug tests. Two flying cars. They exploded. Back to my advantages. No. It's negative. I'm just trying to see if there's anything. Is fine, not something I'd order normally, but that's okay. So I guess we don't incur any sort of penalty. Okay. And then a piano man is the next one. Yeah. It doesn't tell me why I need to make that, but it just said make sure that it's made. So I'm going to just do that. I'm going to listen to that. But like I said, I'm not going to skip ahead. So whatever happens, we'll do it. And I'll look up stuff after the fact. I think that's fair. I think that is absolutely fair. Because I like completing stuff. And completing stuff is a lot of fun. But I don't want to spoil myself on anything. Absolutely. Because based on the fact that... Uh... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, then... Oh, yes. That's not aged. Three, four, five, six, one, two, three, one, eight. Um, because I did what I did, or like, I don't want to like spoil myself because somebody said it was like a vision novel and such, so I don't want to get out know, after that. It's Joe, sent us a cab, the client, just a second, you can't even need your full name. Kimberly La Valette. Oh, what a funny name. I have no idea how to spell it. Don't she's too sleepy to answer that. What today, I guess. Good, yeah, Miss Fellow, but to your cab on your way out. She woke up, fell asleep again. Excuse me, Miss, please help me walk you to your cab. Pickpockets, that's it. Gil, where's the girl? Go to the bathroom. Kim woke up, had a couple of dreams, called him. We just don't say your last name. Okay, so I guess the only thing that's changed, though, is that Psy, like the explosion happened after Psy left, I think? And then there's that. Did I? Not? Okay, today's payment, 648. Tips, 650. Flawless service. We did get the flawless service bonus. 
2298. Okay. Let me just I just want to see which one has more. So let's so this is I guess this is important. So day two room is super important. Let me load the other one. Let me see which one made more money. So two four six four here. Two two nine eight. So I made two hundred less dollars somehow. But that's okay. That's perfectly fine with me. Uh weren't you gonna have curry yesterday? Ghost took my money. Okay, so let's see what else we can do. So, welcome Jill. This, what's this? Danger, ooh, Dangerous Opinions. Mickey Concert. The child runs is in real life, you're just lonely. And last thread, Anon wants to confess her feelings to her best friend. I still don't know, and how is she? I bet she's one of those cute clues girls who can't catch her signals. Hmm, you say that, but she can be incredibly sharp sometimes. So he's right, that's going to be difficult, and I have to be direct and to the point. I'm afraid that's going to be that I'm afraid that's going to be the case here. Not that I actually am in love. Stop. I'm going to marry Miki! Stop being such an attention whore. We're here for Miki. Come on, Anon, don't be mean. We're just we just want to help a fellow Miki sister. You, you don't have to fight because of me. It wasn't my intention to derail the thread. Don't pay attention to her. Everyone else he wa here wants to help you. I'm a guy, I'm a guy. Now who's the intention whore again? Okay, let's talk about Alice Rabbit. What says on the tin? So it's the news on them. Hmm, run a blank right now. We haven't heard of Alice in a while now that I think of it. You think they're planning something? There's this constant rumor right here about a terrorist attack next week. Don't scare me with that stuff, please. I have enough as it is. Lol, we're going to be attacked and it will be funny to see those white knights fucks do nothing but drink. How do you know if you get hacked by Alice? It was my first time reading about them. Look more. She normally leaves a funny a seed drawing and a message something like happy not birthday. Sounds lame as fuck. Why is Alice even a celebrity? I'll go back. Uh, the hell? Alice was the one who leaked all the internal and white knight memos. She literally started the riots with the leaks. At least we try with your baits. Okay. Miki Concert 1. Okay, so let's limit all the concert conversation to this thread. How are you preparing for the best day of your life? I'm going not with your boyfriend. Dang, boyfriend. Why would you lie on the internet? Oh, wow. Fucking normies, get out! So cute, Anon. Anyway, I'm going with a very special friend of mine. Are you the girl from the other day who had a crush on her best friend? Yes. So you're finally going to confess? Oh my god, this is going to be the cutest thing. I still don't know if I like her. Just wait until Miki shows up. You'll know right away if you love her. Trust me, I've been there. How so? You'll understand what you are there with her. Miki concerts are some magical shit. Okay, weird. Let's see, this got updated. Local woman, local hero. This morning, a suicide attempt was thwarted by an unidentified local woman. The incident occurred at the Artemis Will Mall, where people noticed someone was at the rooftop of the building. Firefighters were called as soon as their presence was noted by pedestrians, but the person jumped off without notice. Mysterious rescuer. Just when the would-be suicide victim jumped off, a local woman was able to catch them midair and fled the scene before anyone could identify her. The mall's taking extra security measures now. Interesting. 70% of our readers consider shrimp ramen to be disgusting. I'm sorry, shrimp ramen's fucking great. It's so good. Shut up. This is not really a surprise, but a lot of people seem to hate this particular brand of instant food. This is from a survey we conducted here at the Augment Eye last month. We asked our readers to tell us their most hated dishes. And with a total of 6,000 votes, it looks like the market for shrimp ramen is reducing. That's good, because it sucks. It sucks so much. I barf a little every time I smell it. How could anyone like it? It's ridiculous. Oh, I can't even finish this article. I'm sorry, everyone, but I have to puke. Blur, I hope it's put out a sale. Rude! I think Alice Rabbit might be a dog. I just want everyone to acknowledge this picture. I just want everyone to acknowledge that this picture exists. I want somebody to snip this picture and send it to Doge immediately. Tell him to make this his uh, profile picture. Somebody please, please do this. Don't trust this dog. Dog, you say? Why not? After receiving brain enhancements, they're capable of learning at near inhuman seeds. So why is it so impossible to imagine a gifted dog who uses their brilliance for programming? Makes a lot of sense, right? Well, maybe...
Sorry, I'm trying to do this. Um, oops. Stop. Zero zero one zero zero one zero zero one zero one zero zero one one zero 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 one zero 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 one zero two three one two 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 one The, retribu the retribution is co. That's what this says. Maybe go. Is what it means. Retribution is C O. Interesting. Dogs be barking. Shop. All right. So let me see. Hover an item to examine it. Double click to buy it. You play a house. Feel the thrill of being scammed. Maneki Neko. Poster. It's a game poster. Crack Daruma. Alex Figurine movie poster. Christmas tree with a guitar turn. I think I need a hollow palette, right? I think, yeah, okay. Your membership, the Shining Fingered, uh, will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account is at least $800 by then. Jill is lost in thought about a hollow plant. Buying it will prevent her from getting too distracted. Uh, let's buy a hollow plant. There we go. So a hollow plant has been bought. It also says to buy this. So I guess I'm going to buy a Mulan tea. Is what it says before you start day two. So let's go save. All right, and then once again, we just uh, play blind. So go to work. Wednesday, December 14th. Good evening. Hey, Jill. Hey, look, that's a, that's the helmet. That's a size helmet. Wah! That's a sound you don't hear every day. But boss, what are you even doing with that helmet? I was just about to ask you where it came from. The White Knight came yesterday. She left it, and well, she forgot to take it with her. I figured she'd eventually come looking for it, so I left it under the counter. Wait. Do you regularly put things on without asking who they belong to first? I don't plan to evaluate every move, Jill. I just act. Anyway, as your boss, I'm taking this helmet until the client comes for it. You sound happy. Well, this helmet is comfortable and cool and comfortable and cool and and really, really cool. Hello. It's strange that you're late, Gil. Yeah, the traffic was great. Don't run. You have work to do. I'm not going back to Hong Kong. That's a that's a topical. It's Hong Kong, Chief. S sorry, I thought you were someone else. Apparently, I'll leave the rest up to you. I'll donate the Pluto warhead somewhere safe. But what? Where now? Nothing. Never mind. She seems happy. She's been tense these past. She's been tense the past couple of days. If she's somehow relaxed now, good. Are you all set? Yep. All right, time for more music. Oh, let's go music time. Commencing simulation. Time to make strings and check. You! <laughs> oh, it's Kim. <laughs> you! Because of you, I got up late and lost a full day of work. And on the day, everyone got a nifty assignment too. Wait, because of me? You were the one that got me drunk and made me fall asleep like a goddamn log. So you arrived home safely. That's nice. That's all you have to say? What do you want me to say? If I felt remorse for every client that gets drunk in here, I wouldn't be working. But... True, morally speaking, I shouldn't let people get drunk. But getting people drunk is the unspoken main purpose of my job. And I did say that I didn't know how much alcohol you can handle, didn't I? I... Ugh! Seriously, what kind of answer is that? Ugh, hello, Mr. Donovan? Do I know you? Hey, Brett, you're in luck. I decided to bless this place again. Lucky says. Oh, Mr. Donovan, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? 
What do you think I want, kid? Jeez, well, gee, I wonder what he gets. I wonder what he gets. Here you go. Yes, now that's what I call service. That's good to hear. What brings you here today, Mr. Donovan? Today we were supposed to hand the interns an article topic. All those crazy bitches came flocking to me like first high schoolers and like the first high schooler with a car. I couldn't deal with it, so I switched places with some poor sap. We were supposed to be doing an interview today, but to hell with that. And thanks to all that shit, I found myself here, blessing your hellhole with my presence. You were here yesterday too. How did that come about? There's this gal that's performing at a concert later tonight. Yesterday I was tuning the details of the interview I'd have with her today. You are a Miki fan. You are a Miki fan. That's why we just learned about Miki. Oh, nice. Like I said, I'd rather work here than deal with a pack of competitive bitches. I see. How was the interview? Easy enough. The fact that I, the gal had a nice pair of knockers helped. Was I muted? Ah, shit. Ahem. I mean, ah, I'm back. Hello. We've come a long way in the department of Lilum Succopeel, I tell you. She was a Lilum then? Yes, one of those new fancy King Class CH1A models. I've heard they're anatomically correct in every way. I don't mind finding out about that myself. Hey, you, the guy with the John face. Huh, me? See? Everyone thinks he has a John face. What the hell is a John face? Yeah, you. Do I know you? I don't think so, sir. No, no, I'm pretty sure I know you. Wait, wait, wait. It was the Hong Kong riots ten years ago, right? I I've never been to Hong Kong. It certainly didn't affect from any anti-riot force I'm after stealing supplies. Really? That's a bummer. You look like a guy who owes me a drink. You're in those riots, Mr. Donovan? Do I look like some anarchist hippie to you? Ten years ago, I tried to start a silicone business. So I was in Hong Kong talking to some investors when those damned riots broke out. Seriously though, did they really think the laws they were trying to pass would, would backfire? They were openly trying to segregate people with augmentations. No matter how many they have different capabilities you put in between, it's still segregation. Once people start crying segregation like you're like that, you're doomed. This is the PR century. If you're going to do that, disguise it a bit. That's a very laconic way of summarizing the incident. I mean, there was a political agenda revolving around cheap labor. And the plan reached such a developed stage because the media was instilling fear in the public. The general fear that augmented people would become power-hungry maniacs was a key factor in their plans. And everything is mostly the aftermath of previous protests where... Well, on second thought, maybe it's better to be laconic. Trying to get the full picture might take you back beyond the Industrial Revolution. All that happened when I got out of high school. I remember I had to turn down a scholarship in Hong Kong because of all that. Eh, <laughs> scholarship. That's no mean feat, brat. Well, I guess even without the scholarship, there would have been the language barrier. I remember I was kind of excited back then because I was really into this one Chinese idol band. It's one of those things I'd rather not remember much of. You'd be surprised at how much Chinese, how easy Chinese can be. So you know how to speak Chinese? The only translator I had available was some pizza-faced pencil neck. And I wasn't going to gonna allow myself to be seen with that. Someone like me can learn Chinese in two weeks well. I'm guessing a scholarship student might have a chance. Why do I feel like he suddenly challenged me to a finally to be to, fi to finally learn Chinese? Chinese? Wait, when you say Chinese, do you mean Mandarin or Ke Cantonese? Tangerine? Kent what? When people say Chinese, they're usually referring to the written word, not the spoken one. It's important to clarify because there are lots of dialects in the Chinese language. In Hong Kong, lots of people speak Cantonese, so just saying Chinese won't do. You might have learned Cantonese because you were only going to Hong Kong. Or you might have learned Mandarin because it's the only one spoken by the majority elsewhere. I went to Hong Kong and managed to seal a deal. I have no idea about anything else. Right. This guy is apparently, like, super smart, apparently. Like, super smart. Goodness. 
Anyways, surely a student with a scholarship could serve me a Mars Blast too, right? I'm sure on it. What's a Mars Blast? That's a change of pace, all right. All right, Mars Blast. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two. Blended, all right. Let's check, okay, cool. Blended, spicy, manly, strong. All right, here's Mars Blast. Here. All right, I guess I'll believe your story. All right. Hey kid, I got wasted yesterday, so there's certain, so there's certain protocol here. Would you mind telling me if I said anything someone could use against me in a court of law? Unless complaining about your investors can be used as a legal weapon, I don't think so. Oh, good. Fuck those sons of bitches. <laughs> I'm sorry to like this guy a little bit more. Fuck them sons of bitches. Oh, good for you, sir. Hope you hope you're okay with that. What did I tell you? How they whine on reasonable stuff, how they feel like they have more power than you do, and all that. Oh yeah, I recall something like that, but then again, it seems to be something I say a lot with drunk. That and racial slurs in German. What? Why would you say racial slurs in German? That's not a good idea. Racial slurs and what? Well, let me tell you something. There are people worse than your investors. Who? Clients. I excuse me? Your readers. If you think clients are always right, then you're wrong. Unless I'm the client, that is. We live in an era where PR is the first and only word in anything. You can sell the shittiest stuff and people will buy it if you're the apple of their eyes. Make one fucking mistake and it's over for you. It's only a criminal to them. No chance of appeal. Gods forbid if they ever catch something you said out of context. A month ago, we had to clarify that we were talking about the animal in an article about cougars in nearby forests. Sorry. Hold on. I just, I just need to like piece that together real quick. Hold on, let me let me just kind of think about this real quick. Who the fuck, when it says cougars in nearby forests, they don't think of the animal first. How do you not think of the animal first if it's a cougar in a nearby forest? Secondly, how many people? Went to a forest looking for Never mind. Just just don't worry about it at this point. Just just no. All because we got a pack of 40-year-old divorced soccer moms crying about her feelings. Listen, I know there's a market for that somewhere. They were having picnic parties in the same forest and thought we were writing about that. That's weirdly convenient. God, I hope at least one of them gets eaten by their damn namesake. Yeah, it's funny when somebody else hears it, but the smell of rosy perfume still makes my blood boil. Nowadays, nobody can take a joke. They're always out for blood. Can't win. You will always offend somebody. While someone, some taken graciously, many just love feeling insulted. They relish the thought of ganging up against something. Those hypersensitive bastards are your clients. They're the ones you have to target. I read a goddamn newspaper. The whole point is to present news in the most neutral way possible. Being offended by a newspaper is like being angry at a mirror. Sure, let's go with that. I mean, it's not like he's totally wrong, but hearing it from him is kinda... Damn, look at the time. I need to get back to work soon. Really? I just finished an interview and it must be posted as soon as possible. The fact that we're posting it after the chick finished her concert is enough of a problem already. Something delayed the interview? The interview was supposed to happen last Friday. One of the interns, this meek little girl, was supposed to do it, but for some fucking reason, she just didn't. I spent two days negotiating something else instead. Negotiating. Did you have to pay or something? Basically, when that encore concert happens, I need to plaster that chick's face all over the front page. I see. Okay, then, one last drink before I leave. Give me something bitter to wake me up. Sure. Mr. Donovan wants something bitter to wake him up. I wonder if some alcohol would help, too. So we want bitter. No, not a girly drink. We don't want a girly drink. Bitter, manly, and strong. Okay. Um. So hold on. I want to do one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I top it off, right? Let's top it off. Here. Yeah, this works just fine. 
No, I feel like I should compensate the poor bastard that took the heat today. Yeah, that kid, Joel, Gene, Guillermo, Hirohito, can't remember his name. That kid is always gushing about that idol I interviewed. I can't remember anyone for shit, but he's annoying enough to make me remember him. So I don't know, I feel like I could cock block him big time today by taking his gig away. First of all, I left him to fend off a pack of crazy bitches. That's something I wouldn't wish on anyone, not even my worst enemies. Well, maybe two of them. You're sounding so considerate right now. I'm no saint, kid, but I'm a man. And a man must never cock block another man unless he's trying to fuck your mom. I... what? What if it's your dad? Did I stutter? Maybe you can get him tickets or something. Nah, see, that'd mean he'd be off work, and I need him to be on my beck and call tonight. I've seen that brat talk to no end about her, so... I know, I'll let him write about her somewhere else in the newspaper. Give him the food critics call, it's shit anyway. Hey, <laughs> I'm so fucking nice. I'm out, kid. Bye, Mr. Donovan. Thank you. Please come again. That'd be something interesting to see, I guess. That was, um, tiring. Hey, Jill, I think I have a problem. Don't tell me. Yep, I can't take the helmet off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. Did you check the internet for help? How to take off a Valkyra-type White Knight helmet is not precisely a common query, you know? I could break it, but I don't want to damage a client's property. What, did you run out of air? I just realized you served a Valkyrie in Valhalla. <laughs> That's actually really funny. I just realized that too. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty funny. Shit, don't scare me like that. I don't think you can run out of air with this helmet. What are you gonna do? I know someone that might help me. I'll give her a call. Let's see, where was her number? Oh, here it is. Hey, Iris, I need some clot and clogging advice. Iris? I've heard Chief call her a couple times. Maybe she's a friend. More importantly, will Chief be fine? She will, even if there's no God or Buddha. You can always trust boss. Yeah, let's hope you're right. Hey, honey, can you see me? Ah, Dorothy. Yeah, I can see you. Why? Really? Man, did they sell me the wrong stuff? Who sold you what? Jill, I'm going out for a bit to buy a screwdriver and bacon. Are you talking to yourself again? No, I'm not. Hello! Oh, hello, Dorothy. Wherever you are. I'll be back in a bit, then. She didn't see you? Oh, I get it now. They sold me a Vic Jammer, not an optic... Camouflage system. Um, care to explain? Have you seen those pics or videos of someone stripping or undressing? But I mean, the ones where the clothes are the only thing you see and the other person's invisible? Come again? There's people out there with a fetish for invisible people. But you can only see a few articles of clothing floating about. I was trying to find something that would let me cater to that fetish, but my contact misunderstood my request. Are you a prostitute? Is Dorothy a prostitute? I think Dorothy is a prostitute. I asked him to bring me something that make me invisible, and he did. But I'm only invisible to cameras. Even then, wouldn't your clothes be invisible too with such a jammer or something? Hmm, you have a point. Oh well, I'll work something out. Maybe I'll get a nano uh, camo module. Nano camo? Haven't you heard of nano camo? They're a military technology company that recently branded the civil civilian appliances. We use nanotechnology to make fabric or other materials, taking it, take any color or texture you want. You can order a module from them and change the colors of clothes, walls, or tables with it. Hmm, sounds interesting. Maybe I'll look it up. What does that have to do with what you want, though? If I remember correctly, they have a module that makes things almost invisible to the human eye. It was quite pricey last I checked, though. Almost to the human eye. Well, it's not perfect. If you move, you'd be an eerie surrounding, surroundings colored blob. And we Lilum see things differently. So it's ineffective against us. So are Lilum robots? So I guess I guess she's a robot. Still, they might be what I need. Now, what was that about talking to yourself again? Nothing important. What are you having? I'm in a good mood, so give me a piano woman. Sure. Worth wants a piano woman. Simple enough. One piano woman. 
Thanks, I love these ones, you know? I keep them for special occasions, wherever I'm feeling good or when I need to get out of a slump. Okay, actually, are they robots or are they cyborgs? I think they're robots, but how do they get drunk? How did, uh, how, how does a robot get drunk? Is that possible? And today? Today I feel good. That's nice. Okay then, how's this for a bonus payment? Oh, the ticket from Friday? I can't believe I still remember that. That guy was so nice in giving it to me. Too bad it was filled to the brim with dogs. I would have enjoyed the drink here otherwise. Okay, what is this? What is with post-apocalypse and corgis? What's going on here? I don't think this ticket should be valid. But then again, they were improvised, so there isn't really a contract involved or anything. You know? Hmm? If you're lonely enough to start talking to yourself, we could hit an arrangement. She is definitely a prostitute robot. She is definitely a prostitute robot. Oh, she's a prostitute. She were getting hit on by a prostitute robot. We will say yes. Keep me fed and I'll keep you company. You'll still need to pay if you want to get naughty, though. What up, Lurkness? How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Um, by the way, hmm. <clears throat> Why can't I be in this uh, timeline? I know there's riots, and I know that, like, post apocalyptic stuff and such is, like, pretty bad government wise, it sounds like. But, like. Listen, when you're a loner, or I guess, yeah, when you're a loner like me, sometimes you just gotta. Never mind. Continuing on! I think I'll pass. I already have a cat that does all that. I'm sorry, hold on a second. A cat that does all that. I, d um, how, what? Huh? How do you, how do you, no. Unless you're talking about like a cat girl or cat boy. Where like, you know, maybe you could do something. Like, no. I don't think you can get naughty with a cat. Do you pay him to finish that sentence and I'll make sure you truly become invisible. <laughs> See, even she thought about it. Even she thought about it. She was like, wait a second. Something doesn't add up here. Something really doesn't add up. And I agree. Fine. Consider this a standing offer, though. Oh, hey, John. Ah, Dorothy. Didn't see you here last Friday. I was dealing with some stuff over the weekend. And Monday. Yeah, yeah. Was it a girl? I wish. What did you do? What did you do? I'd rather not talk about it. Hey, honey, what did he do? Gil's been a complete mystery for as long as I've known him. His past is like a nebulous mass that tries to bite him every once in a while. Nebulous? You hear so much random stuff, it's hard to make connections about what happened when. And you know, people lie. Does your boss know about it? He said, I'm not one to judge. Seems like she knows what the hell's going on. But I think I'm better off not knowing. It's not really that necessary, and it's a pain to think about. I'm right here, you know. Did I tell any lies? No, but never mind. Oh yeah, about your boss. Why was she wearing a helmet? She found it. She put it on. Now she's stuck. Oh, yeah, randomly putting on stuff you find is problematic. No shit. I mean, there's this girl that I wanted to see if she could use a glass bottle as a... Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh, oh, oh no, oh, please tell me, no, no, don't tell me, I don't think, oh no, dude, oh no. Now I'm a bit early for those stories, don't you think? Nope. I buy that for a dollar in the background on this. True. I, I see that. I see that. <laughs> By the way, it's weird that I didn't see you yesterday. I have a job too, you know. Yeah, but you usually come before you start. Aw, did you miss me that much? Yesterday was a bit different. I worked the entire day. I don't know if I should ask. Oh, it was weird, but not kinky weird. The guy paid me to spend all day pretending to be his daughter. Oh, that's Ingram. Really? Yeah, I go to his house at 11 a.m., dress his request, and spend all day there. Play some games, occasionally tell him I love him, go to bed when ordered, and leave. Nothing sexual. He used to expect him to push me against the ground and have his way with me. But 
after three years, it's unlikely that'll happen. Three years? Yeah, that's definitely Ingram. But like, whoa, what? Yeah, I was thinking it was a sexual fetish that he was doing. Because he kept talking about it. Alright, bait and switch. Yeah, one day a year for three years now. Oh, but last year he also wanted me to play the part of his daughter's birthday. Wait a second, does he have a daughter or not? Had, seems she died four years ago. Oh. Yep, I seem to attract that kind of people for some reason. Kind of people? Nobody, I said nothing. Give me a Moonblast, would you? Sure. One Moonblast coming right out. Two, three, four, five, six, one, two. There we go. She's got like, I think she's got eight things of Karmatrine in her right now. That's not good. Here. There's something interesting about this drink. I don't actually like it, but I can't stop drinking them. It tastes like a bit of sugar drowned in pure alcohol. Small wonder you feel like that. Hi, Cassie. Good night, Cassie. Something I've been meaning to ask you. Yes, I'm single and I don't mind that you're a girl. Thumbs up! Look at me. Do you actually mind what anyone is? Not at all. Anyway, it's not about that. Do all DFC 72s look like kids? Yes and no. At a factory, we look like kids because of our development needs to be as close to humans as possible. Then you look like babies outside the factory. Nope, every fresh DFC 72 looks about 10 to 13. It makes it easier to upgrade later. Oh! So she is a robot. But she looks 10 to 13, but is actually much older. That is a trap in the wrong... No. Upgrade? Once DFC-72 passes three maturity tests, it can opt for a factory upgrade. Said upgrade alters his body to something older. Some go for it, some don't. Will you go through it? I don't know. Right now, I'm at rarity. You don't find many like me in a line of work, so I have an advantage. I really need that advantage, you know? How so? When people hire me, half the time it's not because it's me. The amount of role-playing I have to do on a normal night is ridiculous. So if I stop looking at her age, I'll lose my advantage over everyone else. I didn't think about it that way. Should I think about it at all? No. Mind, no. I mean, maybe I'll go through with it if I ever decide to retire or something. But right now, I'm just fine the way I am. I see. Good evening, Gil. Jill and Gil. Welcome to... Does that happen a lot? No, not really. It would happen less if Jill worked. Would just let people call her Jules. Call me Jules, I'll make sure every time you sit, you'll hear the cling of your shaker. Alright, so it's Jill and Jill, okay. Fine, fine. I'll be with you in a minute, Jamie. Just let me finish here. Sure, no hurry. This guy looks like freaking, uh, oh my gosh, is it... Adam, Adam, uh, is that Adam Jensen? From, uh, Deus Ex? For, I don't remember his name. But, yeah. Hello, sailor. Hello, young lady. Just call me Dorothy. You're Jamie, right? Nice to meet you, Dorothy. Hey, hey, let me buy you a drink. Oh, I couldn't let you do that. I insist. I got a hefty bonus the other day, and today I'm in a good mood. I was supposed to be impolite of me to reject. Sure, I'll take you our offer. Yay, honey. I'll have a big sunshine cloud. I'll be fun with just a gut punch. Together. Good point. Yeah. It's Jill and Jill. And he, yeah, he looks so okay. Come on, don't be stingy. Ask for something more expensive. I mean, it makes sense. I feel like this game is a lot of references to other games, right? Something tells me that this is a game that's filled with references. Because he looks like Adam from Deus Ex. I've only played one of the Deus Ex games. Don't remember his last name, but it's definitely Adam something. That's what he looks like. Absolutely. Donovan looks familiar, but I can't put my finger as to where. Him looks like Toko from Danganronpa. And acts like Toko. A lot from Danganronpa. Ingram? Ingram doesn't look super familiar to me. Uh, Sai looks like... I don't remember her name, but it's from Persona 3. That girl. And Dorothy remind I think I've seen Dorothy from is it Crosscode? One of my one of my friend Genma plays Crosscode a ton. I feel like 
he looks similar. I'd rather not. Man, that girl puts me on edge with the way she addresses people. Okay, then, let me get you your orders. One big sunshine clown and one gut punch. Press next after the first mix to make the second drink. Make both before serving. Okay. Good to know. So sunshine and cloud. So go one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Optimal carotene. On the rocks, blend in. This came out before cross code. Yeah. So that's a s that okay, so that's fine. Then slot two is a gut punch. Two, three, five, one. Do I wanna fix this with Calmertrain? I think I think this is fine, right? I think that should be fine. Big sunside cloud with Chromatrine to round it off, gut punch. Serve. Here and here. Thank you. All in order. Thank you, Dorothy. Don't mention it. Thank you, Jill. It's my job. Hey, Dorothy, may I ask you something of private? Have a good night, Sparks. Take it easy. Plug game references. Seems like it. If you need a price list, I have a convenient card with update fees. I can give you a discount if you pay for the room or invite me to dinner. No, thank you. It's not about that. Then go ahead. I don't think you can ask me something I've never been asked before. Is it true that the DFC 72 line leaves tracking nano machines and the other person after, well, after they violate every hole in your body, regardless of its original purpose? Ah, uh, perfect fade out there. Um. Um. Uh, uh. Oh. Um. Yes? That's a semi-myth that nobody has tried to dispel. It's true, but also not true at the same time. Fair to explain. We do have tracking nanomachines, but they're released when the body enters alert mode. When we're being assaulted or the like, that way the authorities can chase down the attacker. It's kind of buggy, though. I've heard stories of DFC-72s who marry, get nervous on their wedding night, and bam! The partners end up spending the honeymoon in jail. I see. And besides, I've muttered myself so much that if any tracking window machines were still being released, I'd have to commend their tenacity, to be honest. Um, I don't know. It depends on Doge, Sparks, but I'll, I'll message you. I'll message you. There's also this urban myth that those nanomachines help improve their performance, but that's just silly. Now I get to ask you something. Sure, go ahead. How much of you is still organic? Just enough that my skin still heals over time. Come on, you know that's not what I mean. I'll tell you that and nothing more. Fine, see if I care. Honey, I'm going. I'll leave you with the meanie. Thank you, please come again. That girl's something else, huh? She's so earnest about what she does, it's kind of hard not to root for her. She also has no qualms about anything whatsoever, and that becomes a problem from time to time. Okay, I'm done here. Right, I'm gonna go and take my... Yo! I need your girly hands for a second! Coming! Sorry, can you take care of him while I help her? Sure, no problem. Also, I'm gonna say Gil and not Jill. So why not? I apologize if I'm taking time from your break. Nah, don't worry. Sorry you'll have to deal with me. You're no problem, Jill. Yeah, but you usually seem to have a blast when Gil's the one serving you. Anyway, do you want something else? Can you make me a Mars Blast? That I can. Mars Blast, Mars. Better not give him any other kind of blast drink by accident. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, three. One, two. Resets. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, one, two, three, four, three, two, three. I didn't think that through, okay? Here. Bitter in my nummy, just like war. Have you been to war? Life's a war we fight every day, Jill. So you haven't been to war. Not to an official one, at least. And there's something I've been wondering for a while now. What could that be? First, it was how a professional assassin could be so polite and pleasant to be around. 
But I guess your line of work doesn't have to have any bearing on your personality. Thanks a lot. What I've often wondered about is how you can be so calm here. Aren't you worried about police or the like? Well, first of all, I try to keep everything as clean as possible. Second, I don't come here looking for trouble, so I don't raise suspicion. Finally, you can thank your boss for raising my mind about other folks. My boss? I've seen what she's done. I feel safe here. She could take care of things if I went haywire. Haywire, you? Don't mind that. I heard not to mind it if you just said... Uh, you wouldn't happen to know how she got her mechanical arm, would you? She lost her original fighting a cyborg wrestler that had gone rogue. Just a rumor, though. Damn, I still don't know, then. Have you tried asking her? She told me it's more interesting if it's left a mystery. Which leads me to believe that she might have started something some of the rumors herself. They're believable because she's her. Maybe I'll see her in action one day. You should, it's quite the show. Good news, Jill. The hammock came off and you could take a break. Finally. It's always a pleasure, Jamie. Thank you, Jill. Boss, break. All right. So that must be how we look. And we look freaking sexy, dude. Can I just be honest? We look sexy. Just saying. Super, super sexy. Super, super sexy. Super, super sexy. Ba -ba -dum -ba -ba -dum. It's now safe to keep playing. Why does it keep saying it's now safe to keep playing? That's a little foreboding, though, isn't it? Why should clean the chicken buckets she throws out? Everyone can smell the spice from a mile away. Alright, let's do these. So let's. No, nope. Next. Drive me wild. You can take a couple minutes more, you know. This made the old fears they say now save the child for computer. True! True. I'm fine, thanks. How did you get the helmet off? Turns out the release button was jammed with ashes. Whoever owns that helmet made sure to use it to the point of voiding the warranty. Keep it safe in case she comes back, okay? Sure. Now, take it away from me before I feel compelled to put it on again. Right. Yes, it's open! Great! Welcome to Valhalla! Good evening. Um, what kind of place is this? Okay. So... I... Hmm. Is blue. Is she must be a robot. She looks yeah, she's definitely a robot based on her arms. They step into some kind of afterlife? Do you often enter places without knowing what they are? Sort of, kinda, yeah. Well, this is a bar. A bar, nice, nice! What can I get you? I don't know, I don't drink that much, to be honest. What do you recommend for me? What do you normally enjoy? I like tea. That's not something I could work with. What about flavors? Bitter, but not too bitter? Sorry if it's too confusing. Something bitter, but not too much. Maybe something bitter and girly? Let me see what I can get you. Well, hold on. Don't I have the tea? This must be... I'm guessing this is probably why the day one thing is to buy tea. So, let's, uh... Tea? Right. That's it. There you go. Hey, I like this one! But didn't you say you didn't have tea? Well, it's not freshly made tea or anything like that. You don't look like you're from around here. What brought you by, miss? I'm the star that always shines in the dark night, Sky. I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrow. I'm the northern light that will show you your dreams. I'm Kira Miki. So this is the- Oh, okay, so you're the- you're the idol bot. Okay. You're the idol bot. Cool. You... that's... interesting. Okay. So... Why is she here? She does have big tits. Sorry! Um. So should I call you Miss Miki or Miss Kira? No, you're not getting it. I'm just... Kira Miki! Here, let me help you. I'll say Kira and you say Miki, okay? Okay. Kira? Miki? No, 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 no! Put more spirit into it! Kira! M Miki! Almost there! Kira! Miki. Kira! Miki! Kira! Miki! Good job, Gil. Kira! Everyone. Miki! Everyone's yelling Miki. That's it. Are you feeling it? Kira! 
Miki! <laughs> oh my gosh, why is everyone yelling Miki? Kira! Miki! <laughs> Kira! Miki! And don't you ever forget it! What the hell am I doing out here? Um, where were we, Jamie? R right, I was telling you. Wow, you're good. Thank you. It's nice to know I still have it. Especially since I have a concert in a bit. Concert? Wait, you're the Lilum that's putting on a concert tonight. I'm one Lilum who's putting on a concert tonight. I don't know if I'm the same Lilum you're thinking, looking for. What are you doing all the way down here? Well, they were making last preparations for the concert, so I snuck out. My producer is always obnoxious while that's going on, so I just decided to leave. I saw one of the concerts posters outside and decided to check this place. Just that, isn't that a bit dangerous? Won't your producer be mad when you go back? He will, but it's not the first time I've done this. And he still needs me to do the concert anyway. I see. How big is the concert? We planned for a bit over 100,000 people, sold out fast. Jesus! So we managed to scare ourselves another show in a couple of weeks. Oh, that's nice. 100,000 people? Oh my god, that's a lot of people. Yeah, I may not have as many fans as other performers, but mine are very loyal, and that's nice. Not as many fans as a lot of performers. A hundred thousand's a lot of people. One thousand's a lot of people. Over a hundred thousand's not many? Then what exactly is? Hold on, based on your little demonstration from before, I should call you Miss Miki, right? You don't get it. Let's start from the top. I'll just call you Miss Idol then. Oh, I like that. Hey, do you have anything soft? Soft isn't alcohol free. No, I mean soft as in soft. Soft? Let's see what I can get you. Something soft. I wonder if she means alcohol free or something else. Wait, let me read through this. Okay, let me see. So. Say this in front of me and look at the pool. Oh, soft. Hold on. Okay, so some of these do say soft. Hold on. So, Blue Fairy. Fluffy Dream. Sunshine Cloud. I mean, she's blue, so I'm gonna take a guess the blue fairies probably. Good. Age mix. Here we go. Try this. Yeah, this will do. Th thanks. Hey, have you considered being more the theatrical with when mixing drinks? Yeah. Yeah, you know, like spinning bottles and lighting drinks on fire, that kind of stuff. I don't. I think it's just because of the alcohol content that they can light drinks on fire. I've seen people spin bottles though, and that's pretty cool. When I was in college, I tried to go into a party once. The bartender who tried those tricks gave me a nasty bump on the forehead when the bottle slipped his hand. Those kind of theatrics usually feel pointless and seem to slow down the process of actually making the drink. Yeah, but never underestimate the power of putting on a good show. It can feel incredible and be very rewarding, you know? I'll keep it in mind. Hmm. Hey, is this class important? Depends on what you're asking. Do you want me to sign it? Oh, sure, I guess. No guessing, are you sure or not? Yeah, do as you please. Okay then, who should I make it out to? Maybe for my boss? I wonder if Jill would like it though. Your name, girl? Oh, for Jill then. Or Jill, never lose your star from Kiramiki. Oh, that's a pretty autograph. Thanks! No, no, thank you. I'm guessing someone with as many fans as you has their fair share of stalkers, right? Well, there are two kinds of people that obsess over me. There are the shy ones that follow me everywhere, hiding just out of sight. And then there's my fan club. What's the difference between them? The fan club follows me around a lot too, but they usually keep a distance. Actually, I think they're outside waiting for me right now. Uh, I see. They're also very organized. They make pretty good soldiers. The others, the stalkers, are a bit sneakier and don't act in groups. I guess those stalkers must be bothersome, huh? Actually, they're not that bad. Stalkers are nice when you get used to them. I remember one, one once protecting me from being mugged. There's another that breaks into my house once a week to make me eat breakfast. And she fails to see the problem. I would be terrified if that happened. I just went to leave my underwear draw drawer the same way they find it. 
I think she's a robot that doesn't say no and just does what she's programmed to. Like, I'm pretty sure a fan could just walk up and say, like, let's have fun, and then she would be all for it. I take pride in how neatly I organize my underwear, you know. I take pride in my old liquor collection. I guess it's the same. No, wait, it isn't. Yeah, you get me, Jill. Okay, one more drink before I go. By now, the stage should be all organized, so the fallout should have settled. Isn't it a bit late for a con isn't it a bit late for a concert? It's part of my gimmick. I always make concerts that go from night till dawn. In this one, I'm supposed to close with a song called Sunshine Stone. If everything goes as planned and the weather forecast is accurate, the sun should come up just as I reach the climax of the song. You'd be depressed if they ask for your love as a drug as an encore, though. That sounds nice. Hey, I need to make people feel their tickets were worth the ridiculous price, you know? Don't you think it sucks to pay for something only to find out you shouldn't have bothered? Yeah, one time I bought some expensive coffee in this one cafe. It tastes like filthy water with cream. I still don't know if it was the coffee or the girl that served it, but it was bad. Man, that sucks. Speaking of which, do you have anything bitter? I really need to wake myself up. Let's see what I can find for you. Do you want something bitter? Maybe to sober up a bit? Okay, so what, what bitter drinks do we got? Oh, Sunshine Cloud! Yeah, 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 yeah. This is fine. This is fine. This is good. Uh, on the rocks and... Oh, perfect. Bitter, girly, and soft. Exactly what she wants. No courage mean. If this is perfect. Perfect one. Try this. Yeah, this works. So how is it? It could be a bit sweeter, but it's delicious. I figured it was for waking you up or something, so... Really nice, thanks. I hope you aren't offended by this question, but... Hmm? I can see that you enjoy what you do, but how much of it is about the music? I'll let you know that before becoming Karamiki, I was a very accomplished pianist. I had concerts every week and part-time to bars with the jazz band. I still write and compose my own songs. Whoa. Why the change? Going from jazz and piano to idol. Have you ever thought about the power music has over people? You could argue it's just noise, but it can make you feel a wide range of emotions. And that power is universal, it can transcend language and culture. Being a jazz band or performing with idols, I can only take that power to so many people. But being an idol, I can take that power and spread it far and wide. Kids and adults, men and women, they all have access to my music and I can reach every one of them. Wow. What music do you like, Jill? I'm not picky, but I do prefer versions with no lyrics. Why? I like to listen to music while working, and lyrics distract me. Besides, it always bothers me when people nonchalantly start singing songs with creepy lyrics. I think only half the listeners actually care about what's being said. Oh, that's a bummer. I'd give you a copy of my latest CD, but I don't have any at the moment. Don't worry about it. Okay then, I'm out! Thanks for the helping me pass the time, Jill! Sure. Please come again? I'll make sure of it. Will she be alright? Yeah, she'll be fine. You think she'll come back? Usually I'd say no, but I honestly don't know. Boss, we're done. Alright. You feel like going to that girl's concert? Nah, I don't think so. I don't have tickets anyway. Hey boss, does the name Red Comet ring any bells? Why, that was my monk moniker during my wrestling days. You're, huh? That's what they called me during my time in the Grand Slam Fighters. They saw me coming, but they couldn't stop me before I crashed into their heads. Any reason for being red specifically? That way I was three times faster. How did you find that out? Do you like wrestling? A client mentioned it yesterday when he saw you. I just kind of remembered it. Ah, I see. I should take you to a wrestling match sometime. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe. In any case, Gil's cleaning the glasses today, so I'll leave now. Take care. Oh, and boss? Don't cram anything on your head without thinking, please. Yeah, yeah. Flawless service! Flawless service! Let's fucking go, let's fucking go! Oh yeah, didn't make any mistakes. Dancing, oh yeah. Your membership to the Shining Finger will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account doesn't least $800 by then. Jill is humming your love is a drug. Buying this song will prevent her from getting too distracted. Now browse Cure Monkey's blog. Okay. So I gotta stop myself from being distracted, sounds like. Alright, um, let me just double check. So we finished day two. Let me see if I missed anything. Aha! I was supposed to! Aha! Cool, okay, I figured that. So it said make sure to give tea to her. Don't know why, 
but I guess we'll figure that out. Cool. Let's go. All right. We did good things. soon because i actually haven't eaten all day so let's read this miki concert three four and alice rabbit okay miki concert three and last thread anon hates fun i don't want fights you people are so mature what's wrong with being a guy in danger slash you why do you care if we assume you're a girl anyway fuck off dudes in danger <laughs> let's go back to the concert please you just have an ex and your stupid idiots still care about petty shit like this he started everything by mentioning he's a guy uh anyway we should gather somewhere to take the train to the stadium together not a bad idea. We can make an official danger you meet up. Danger you meet up. Like I want to be seen with a bunch of ugly girls in front of my friends. Okay, next time I'm going to moderate the fuck out of this. No more shit posting. And last thread. No shit posting allowed. Did that one end on left? I think so. I don't know. I was just looking to not cause any trouble. Don't worry, we're here for you. Any ideas for the great revelation? Do you know if you like her yet? Look, I just don't want to ruin our friendship. We know each other since we were very young. So she's your childhood friend? It's like one of my Japanese animes! Let's go. Oh, how was your first kiss? Tripped into a guy, it hurt like hell. Aw. Yeah. Oh, this, this is what you have to do. When Miki is singing uh, Lovers in Paradise, you kiss her. Kiss? Of course. Just try to imagine how magical that moment would be. The fireworks, the epic guitar solo? I I'll think about it. So every time I looked this, I mean, I even said I was curious how such a meetup would end up. So this, she actually responds to it. Okay, good to know. Let's wrap up thread two, Electric Boogaloo. Smiley face. Stop forcing Alice. So we hit Alice now? Good. It's just that we haven't heard any news yet. Remember that time they posted here, here to announce an attack? Oh yeah, I remember the cybercrime unit up the admin's ass. December 17th will come the second retribution. Birthday is coming. That font. Oh boy. Spooky font. It's happening. <laughs> time for despair. Oh shit, fuck. That face when I just got out of jail. I'm not going back. Do you know what happens to people whose IPs got the on with IPs on the wrong thread? Hi, Cybercrime Unit. I just want to let you know I'm not Alice, but in fact your mom. Why are you gals so nervous? The only one getting fucked is the admin. Admin fear. Fuck off, Alice. Not this shit again. Spooky. Or a nice joke. Alright, let's check this. Neo San Francisco rocked by a powerful earthquake. Million saved. But we couldn't do with the money he'll use for that anyways. A powerful 8.6 uh, magnitude tremor struck the area of Neo San Francisco. Fortunately, modern science was able to identify the quake almost an hour in advance, providing the city plenty of time to prepare for the worst. During a conference call, Glitch City's Prime Minister Quincy congratulated the rescue teams at Neo San Francisco for its rapid response in the wake of the warning. They're an example to follow, and we're certainly looking forward to implement these advancements in earthquake prediction here in our beautiful city. Glitch City is not currently known to be a seismic zone. Kira Miki confirmed as the best pop star in history. Donovan Dawson. Oh, God. Well, he did grant the guy his wish, kind of. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. She's the best. Like, she had to be handcrafted to be this perfect. Holy moly. She's the top tier everything, and I'm baffled as to how there are still people out there hoping to be as awesome and hot and great. They can't. It's impossible for a human to top such an achievement. I, for one, welcome our new Roboco Overlord. Interesting. Look pissed. It's a local page. Interview. Gloria light in her quest for Tino Award. Tino. Right. You look pissed. It's a local. Dogma to Die. In today's interview segment, we sit with Tino Award nominate, nominee Gloria Light. It was an honor to be here with you. It's my pleasure. Tell us everything. What was your content blocked in your region? Aww. Look at how cute she looks, though. All right, what's this? Kiramiki blog. Thanks, it's GC. Amiki, oh, I love this place. So much energy, so much love. I could feel the optimism in the air, hearts. Even after all the struggles, you still came to see me and I got to experience the loudest, craziest crowd of my whole career. I'll be young and speechless. That said, I'm excited to announce that we'll have a second date in the city. It wasn't easy to set up, but I'm so happy my agency approved it. This is by far our biggest show and I can't wait to experience it again. So you see my darlings, love Miki. Dumb concert. Oh wait, hold on, let me see. Huh, so should I actually come again? That's nice. Bodyguards, which means okay, dumb concert. Hi, everyone, are you ready for the dumb concert? I sure am. I perform at a rather large number of concerts every year, and even then, I can't help but be excited every time I have one around the corner. And it's all thanks to you, thanks to your energy and love surrounding my life in every aspect. 
I'm going to perform all of your favorite songs, so please be excited. Just one, uh, just one a little request. Please don't wait for me outside the stadium or my bodyguards will get angry at you. I would like to see you hurt, so please don't do it. Uh, by bodyguards? Does she mean the fan club or probably actual bodyguards? What I do to relax. It's been very hectic as of late, so I'd like to share with you what I do to relax. Sitting on rooftops, I'm on the road most of the time, so I don't have a specific rooftop to relax on. I like to feel the breeze and see my beautiful vista. It makes me think about life. Tea cocktails. Oh, this is something I can't live without. Mixing tea with vodka, rum, gin, lime, and you name any tasty natural combination, I'll be all over it. I'm very careful about getting tipsy before a show, though. I wouldn't like to ruin your evening. So that's what you meant by tea-like drink. this so we need to buy oh my gosh love is idol hell a magazine with all things idols it's a download code for your love is a drug need to get that right i just want to double check that there's no other your love is a drug um so. We'll just hold on to money. We got so much money. So. Also. Is our is Jill in love with boss? Is that what's going on here, by the way? Also, I just realized. She has the a slut shirt, which I noticed earlier. She also has her underwear hanging on by her... Okay. There's a... Uh, oh my gosh, I can't think what it's called. Matsu? No, maybe not. Sticky notes, stuff. It's the plants. All right. So, I hate to do this, I really, really do. I actually, I've been liking this game. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm really, really liking this game. It is a really, really fun time. Um, but I'm also starving right now. Like my stomach is growling really, really loudly. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go try to get some food somewhere. So I'm actually gonna end off the stream here. Uh, I do apologize for that. I just, I'm, just hungry. Hey, Lurkness Monster, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome over to the kid party. Um, this game is a lot of fun. I actually really, really do like this game so far. Um, once again, I'm not trying to get spoiled in anything. And I was... I had, you know, some people in chat who are helping me with achievements. I understand that. And also, I was good sense, like, just saying, hey, just do the stuff uh, if you miss it. So, yeah. But... This is fun. I'm probably going to play more of this tomorrow. I'll probably do a few more days, like probably day three. Uh, Cube mentioned that I need to get 10 perfect services in a row. So we're already at two. So if it's 10 perfect services in a row, I'm going to say like maybe days three through five or three through six tomorrow because I'll stream it at a better time. I'll stream it at a better time. So that way we don't have to worry about um, like ending off early or something for like food or whatnot. Like, I'll just probably start off. Um, so, so as Docket says, we should be doing either Sword Tour or Final Fantasy afterwards. However, um, depending on one or two messages that we get, that might change. If one person messages me, aka Doge, we'll play Lego Star Wars and maybe finish that tonight. If Boppet messages me, we'll play uh, Dead by Daylight. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this. I actually really like this, and I'm super excited to continue playing some more. Um, the characters are really cool. I like Jill. I like Boss. Um, I'm excited to play more. So now I don't know about this stuff though, but I'll I'll learn that I guess later. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you have a wonderful day, night, morning, afternoon, and or evening. Of course, my name is Katafi. I'll see you guys next time for some more Brady Gaming. See you guys later. Peace. Bye everybody.